Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have to move my torch away from my rainbow hammer, so I'm gonna use Aquamax's Reef Welder Epoxy Glue. And here's how I do it. The Reef Welder Epoxy is made out of little plastic pellets that melt when you pour hot water over them, and they become translucent, and then you can, and then you can manage it any way you want to. As you can see, my torch is a little too close to the hammer and they're both not expanding as much as they can. So we're just gonna take the torch out. I have to move this little frag first. It's in the way. And luckily, I'm only moving it a couple inches over on the same rock. So it makes it much easier. Now let me show you how I do it. What I do is take a little bowl and pour some of the pellets. Now if you pour too much, it doesn't matter because you can reuse what's left over by heating them up again with hot water. So now we pour some hot water over the pellets and wait till they become translucent. Now we have our rock out of the tank, a couple mushrooms, and our torch that needs to be moved. I'm gonna move it a couple inches over, right into the spot. Now the pellets still need to be a little warmer, so let's go ahead and pour some hot water over them. I let them wait too long. Now we wait for two minutes until they become translucent and they start sticking to each other. Once you see that they are stuck together and kind of transparent, that's when you can start molding it. And then you get this really cool purple epoxy. Tear off a little piece for what we're gonna use. That should be enough. Now, I like to keep warm water just to keep it pliable and that way I can form it to wherever I want it. Now let's take our torch from where it's at. And we're gonna go ahead and pat it dry to where we're going to apply the epoxy. I also make sure to dry the spot on the rock that it's going to. Now I like to put a little dab of crazy glue. That's my choice. You really don't have to. It's just a practice I've always done over the years with any epoxy. So we're gonna go ahead now, that's still pliable, and mold it around the torch. Put it onto the rock. and mold it onto the rock as well. As you can see, it's already drying a little bit and it's pretty hard. And there you have it. Pretty simple. So now we're gonna put them back in the tank and you'll see the space that I've created between the rainbow and the torch. I'm gonna wiggle the rock back into place where it was. At this time, I'm also gonna do some rearranging of my Akins now that I have my hand in the tank. And there you go. There's about four inches of distance between them. Now they have room to expand. So this is the result I really wanted. Now I'm gonna let everybody get happy overnight and we'll come back in the morning. Here you have it guys. I have the space I wanted. Now the Aquamax Reef welder pellets, the epoxy has dried up, rock hard. Um, I'm really pleased with it. Well guys, I hope you liked my video or my little tutorial showing you guys how to use the Aquamax reef welder. These pellets are pretty awesome. Um, you gotta get the water a little bit hot for them to melt, but once it becomes pliable. It's very easy to form anywhere you want, on your rocks, your corals, and it dries very quickly. 
I really recommend it for all your aquascaping or coral placement little projects. Now remember, if you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so you can get more notifications of my videos coming up. Mm -hmm.